Ladies and gentlemen, we died. My name is Destiny Insane. Buzz Buzz also died. Wait, where's the flying man tombstone? There's supposed to be one. Oh. Anyway, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound, whereupon this time, we're going to have better luck than we did. I hope. And when I say better luck than we did, I mean, we'll encounter a present right off the bat. Thanks, game. Maybe we can take out the little dice with... Yes, we can! So I hope that everyone is doing okay. I finished doing what I was doing and was excited to get back to recording. I know, that was very vague what I just said. Finished doing what I was doing. I had some errands to run earlier, and so I got finished... Why? I don't think that the flying man is going to survive. No. No, he's definitely not going to survive. Uh, yeah, errands that I had to run, but everything is taken care of, and I was excited to load this up and start recording. Oh my goodness, it's going all slow. There's so many guys on the left. I was debating on whether or not I should uh, start recording. I was debating on whether or not I should start recording when I got back over there. But then I was like, eh, you know, what, what if something happens? Like, what if I die on the way again so everyone can laugh at me? Because I, just, I feel like the game was just trying to spite me there. Stupid game. This is what I think of your loaded dice game. Yeah. I, I really don't know where I was going with that. It's a Fobby! Yay! Oh, come on! Yeah, uh, from... Are you kidding me? Well, this is bad. This is very bad. But this is what I'm talking about on how it's entirely possible to have these fights just last long enough to get a ton of experience points. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm sure that this thing will kill itself on the next turn if I don't get the attack first. You're not supposed to attack like that, jerk. I lost my train of thought. That's a lot of experience points. Granted, we'll be seeing a lot more later. Well, it turns out my guess was right. The flying man was not going to make it. So now we have to go through the second half of this trek alone, fighting loaded dice! Yay! Can we just... Nope. Nope. Not even going to. Not gonna bother with it. No! Run away, Naz! Don't have this be like last time! Oh my gosh. There's so much here. Ow. Please just run. Get out of there. Oh my god! <sighs> this... This can't be happening. I'm going to die again! Because Ness can't run the heck away! Come on, Ness! Get out of there! I just... I have no words. I have no words. Maybe you'll run this time? Wow. This game. <laughs> I hate, I hate, hate, HATE the carefree bombs. I will see you guys at the entrance to the next part. The good news, I made it. <clears throat> Finally, I died a second time and then almost died in like every fight leading up to here. So now I have no psychic points. 
that area has never been so frustrating for me. That took me, like, way too long. And also, Krakens. <laughs> because why not, right? Let's just auto-fight. What's the worst that could happen? It breathes fire on us and kills us and we have to go through this again? That would almost be a blessing because maybe this time I could actually get through with more psychic points. The, the major problem was that it just would not let me run from any fight. I, ha I encountered a bunch of, like, there was a load of dice that by the end of the fight that caused me to die had summoned a beautiful UFO, two high-class UFOs, two carefree bombs, and I think something else. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. And then, every time that I ran into two carefree bombs, I tried to run away. And the game was like, you're cute, thinking that you can run away. That's adorable. So now, I have to do this area with 60 psychic points. There's still another Kraken to fight on the way. Thankfully, the Kraken is easy at this point. Since I can just turn on auto battle and this, this turn, bam, he's dead. Or next turn, bam, he's dead. That was just so annoying. I had clenched teeth the entire time thinking, am I going to make it this time? Is this actually going to be a thing? And so now I have to deal with the fact that this thing has psychic powers or has the last PSI rock and Ness doesn't have that yet. It can one-shot me and it has a shield of light. <sighs> Case in point, Shield of Light, or it will dodge. Reflected. And then it likes to use, I think that's PSI Flash Omega, or, or whatever the last one is. Now, because of, I'm going to end up doing myself in, aren't I? Because of the pendant that I have, the Earth Pendant, it's absorbing the PSI Flash-like effect, which is good. That's not. Oh, and it can heal itself. <sighs> I n there it is. And boom. Boom. Well, let's go ahead and fully heal ourselves as he uses... Well, at least he didn't use another PSI shield. Or other shield. Now, I ha there have been times where that thing emitting a glorious light, even with the Earth Pendant, it still managed to kill me. Which has honestly really, really irked me when it happens, for obvious reasons. We're turning on auto fight. There's nothing... We're turning off auto fight. Hello. Thank you. Because Ness probably won't survive long enough to be able to actually heal himself. I can fully heal myself two more times. I... Stop! This game today has just decided it does not like me. Ow. Right? Two more times? Yeah. One more time after this. But yeah, sometimes the glorious light has just ignored the fact that I have the earth pendant. Thank goodness. <sighs> Jeez. Oh yeah, and we're in the sea, the Sea of Eden. And we're about to get really, really meta. Because guess who's talking? Ness is talking to himself. You, I, where should we go? Sat, sat, Saturn Valley. S -s Saturn Valley. Sat, sat, Saturn Valley. So Saturn, that, sorry. Go to Saturn Valley. 
Okay, right here. If you would hit level 99 before reaching here, then you would only get these stat increases. Which are impressive in and of themselves. But, you would miss out. He realized that he had possessed great power. And he learned, or he gets the, that amount of experience points. And, yeah, you, you would miss out on huge stat gains for HP and psychic points. And he discovers that all along he knew teleport beta. Magicant is no longer a thing. And flashback. I said flashback. Come on. There we go. We get to see each of them in reverse order of how we should have visited them. I say how we should have because I waited until we had Pooh to get the third one. The milky hole, I think it is. And then when we wake up... Bam! Ness has been unconscious this entire time. Hi, guys! I'm still alive. And... Gameplay and story segregation here. Because... You actually... Would hit all of those multiple times using PSI Teleport Beta. Let's take a look at Ness's stats. 723. Oh, when did he get homesick? When was that a thing? So yeah, he has as much... He has more psychic points than Pooh and Paula combined. Even right now, not being at full psychic points. And he has just a little less health than the three of them. Well, no. No, I shouldn't say a little less health. He has, like, 250 less health. So, more than a little less health. Oh, <sighs> my goodness. Oh, good. <laughs> Became the baddest beam. Is that better than his moonbeam gun? Nope. But he still has... What is, does he still have a broken broken trumpet? Which turns into something else. But, hey, we have a lot of money now. And we need to give Paula and Jeff their pendant. <sighs> I, I, I don't even know how long that took. I don't know how long I have to keep going with this episode. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Apple Kid. And... You! Apple Kid, Dr. Andonuts, a Mr. Saturn. Well, let's go sell a few things. Because I've been toting around some inventory for a long time. Oh, hey. What do you have? If you wanted more of those pendants, you can buy them here. But I think I'll do this off screen. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and... No, because I still haven't spent enough time for this to be a full episode. I feel like this is going to... If I stop this now, I would be cutting out way too much. Well, call Escargo Express because we want you to deliver some stuff. I want an earth pendant, an earth pendant, and why don't you give me this rabbit's foot so that I can sell it? The earth pendant, the earth pendant, and the rabbit's foot. And then I need them to pick up some stuff because I need them to be able to grab the crusher... Er, the baddest beam, I think the crusher beam, and the slime generator, because the slime generator is just kind of useless at this point. 
So we sit here and we wait. This feels rather familiar. I did this last time I was in Saturn Valley, didn't I? Hi! Your Earth Pendant, your Earth Pendant, and your Abbot's Foot. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things does not belong. I need to sell her diamond band. Ugh! Seriously, Ma Magicant has never, never annoyed me that much before. Sell the rabbit's foot for 900. Sell the diamond band. Sure. And I think the death ray can be sold. Let's see if we can sell the crusher beam. Yes, yes we can. And now we can... Wait, does he have... No, he doesn't. Here, buy a death ray. And last but not least, Pooh, don't you have something to sell? Nope. No, you don't. Okay. Okay. I think now, after some deliberation, I'll go ahead and I will call this episode here. So... Thank you so much for watching Let's Play Earthbound. My name is Destin the Insane. Holy crap has that section never pissed me off so much. I will see you guys... No, we're not buying. I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!